we decided to go for our, our road trip today. There you go. <laughs> we thought we'd come check out some RV parks in uh, Florence, but it looks like we can't find them, even though this town is really yeah. tiny. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's really, really dusty here, but um, look how cloudy it is today, and I think... 95. Yes, yeah, 95. Well, it's cooled off a lot, because like last week it was probably 105, so uh, yeah, but it's still, it's still pretty hot out there, but it's pretty cloudy. See the old buildings? This is the historic, historical part of town. There's still, they still got shops in here. Imagine living back here in the days before they had uh, air conditioning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or paved streets. Or paved streets, yeah. yeah look, at, look at that old place. That's pretty nice. Yep, not much in this town. Lots of cactus out here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, some of them are blooming. It was, it was a nice drive. Sophie enjoyed it. I guess it's been a few days since we checked in. We thought, uh, we thought we'd let everybody know how we're surviving with the Arizona heat. How you been doing, Mike? Oh, we're doing okay. We got uh, a little wrong with the coronavirus. Yeah. It's, uh, stores are opening up. What I what I made three times. A little different when you go to eat. Like we went to Olive Garden, and um, every other table. Every other table, is spaced really well, and, and they all got all the servers have a mask on, and um, paper paper um, menu menus. So I I felt actually really safe going there. I, I didn't have a, I didn't have a problem with it. Yeah. I think we've eaten out a couple other times too, and they're yeah. they're spacing everybody, and you don't have any salt and pepper on the table or ask for it. yeah, none of the condiments because everything's cleaned after you use it. So I think we went to Denny's and we had a regular menu there, but they're just they're just cleaning everything really good. Our pool here is only open to ten people at a time. Yeah, that's for six <laughs> hours a day. So yeah. supposedly they're thinking that they're going to open it up. The first of June, where yeah. they can open the pool all the way and we can go over one again. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of hard because right now it's so hot that you would be better off going swimming in the evening time. But you can only go during the heat of the day right now, so yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> and on the Wait. weekends, it's only open three hours on the yeah, weekends. Saturday, yeah. And then speaking of the heat, <laughs> starting tomorrow, yeah, we get. Uh, 100 degree weather for the next 13 days. We got a couple of days that are going to be 104, 105. I think two days it's going to be 108, but yeah. that could turn into 110. It's been in the 90s for a while. It was in the hundreds for a few days before. Yeah, about five days. Yeah, we did okay. It kind of was a shock at first. <laughs> we got. Our trailer's got one air conditioner up on top. I wish when we bought the trailer, I would have went ahead and had another one put up there. Yeah. It's all wired for it. Yeah. And then uh, we bought uh, a standalone air conditioner. Yeah. And we got down here in October, because it was like 98. And we put it in the back of the trailer and bent it out the window. Yeah. And then now with this 100 degree weather, we bought another one and put it in the bedroom. And then out the front bedroom window. And uh, it was 97 today, and it's like 77 in there in the trailer. So. Yeah, it's, it hasn't been that bad when, like, right now it's early evening, 7 ish. Yeah. It's nice outside. It just, oh, right now it's 
It's uh, 7 o'clock and it's... Uh, Probably in the 80s. No, it's 93. Oh, 93. Okay, but it just it's really, really nice out here. The evenings are just... Yeah, we love the evenings, but we've been just kind of like... We've been just staying home and, and, you know, with the quarantine on, we're just staying home, staying safe. We went to a barbecue last night here in the park. Um, I think that's the... We haven't been hanging out too much. But we went last night and there was probably more than the 10 people, maybe. Maybe more than the 10 people. What, but last night? Yeah. It was okay though. It was, it was about 10. It was okay. Yeah. Um, it, was a, it was a good time just hanging out. Yeah. But we've been just pretty, kind of staying home and staying away and waiting for all this to pass. But so far we're doing okay down here. Yep. I think Probably the only one having a hard time with it maybe would be Sophie. <laughs> Ant in the way. Yeah, she, we kind of, we keep her in the trailer and the air conditioning as much as we can. She's not, she's not liking this heat. So, anything else, Mike? Uh, no, everything's working good on the trailer. Satellites are working. we got two satellites, one for the bedroom, one for the living room. we got a big... 40 inch TV we bought for the outside. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the last win we got. Oh. The last. Hold win on, hold on. I'll show oh. you. I'll show you. Hold on. You've, you know, our pop-ups that we have. <laughs> uh, it was a cheap pop-up. We lost our third one. Can you see? Here's our tie downs. We still got the tie downs. Yeah. See. Um, it was our third one we lost. Two down here. Was it only two down here? It just a sudden little rainstorm came up and there went our pop-up again. We had a like perfect little setup out here and we had TV set up out here and having a good old time and the wind blew it down. So what'd you do, Mike? What'd you do? Cave it in. So I, I ordered, a, it's a Lear, Leader Accessories, but it's it's just like a, a, a clam, it's called a clam. It's a six-sided uh, pop up, and it 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 takes less than a minute to set it up. It it, it unfolds and the top you push it up. Uh, I was reading reviews on it. The lady had it at 45 mile an hour wind, and uh, it, it it one of the sides popped in. And after the wind went out, went got done, they went out and popped it back out. Yeah, no big deal. So this this next one won't break, and and I can build tie it down better. It ties down on six sides and. Plus, got stakes in the legs around the edges. Yeah, so hopefully this next one works better. Because <laughs> yeah. I guess I get little windstorms down here. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's Sophie. See, she's doing good. <laughs> <laughs> she's enjoying it. It's a little cooler. Sophie, what are you doing? Okay. So, anything else, Mike? Nope. Okay. We're Ooh. doing good down here in Arizona. Yep. It's gonna. We're going to be down here a year and six months. Yeah. <laughs> well, we just we haven't even started the summer yet, so yeah. we'll keep checking in and let you know if we survive. But, hey, if we get that pop-up anytime soon, it's coming in the mail, we'll show that to you, too. Yep. Well, taking a day off and coming down to the pool. Snowbirds are all gone. We decided we're going to stay here over the summer and see what all the hubbub on the heat in down here in Arizona is. In Patsy Junction we've already had like six days a week and a half ago it was like a hundred hundred and three now for the next seven days we're gonna have hundreds again it's a couple days they say there could be a hundred and eleven so anyway so we got the pool all to ourselves today nobody here two hot tubs pool 97 right now and it's uh, 10 after 11 so it'll be about 100 104 today, I think they're supposed to be. So we'll see. Well, we got another pop-up tent. It's a it's a leader associate. It's the same as a clam. It's six-sided, and the six sides pop out. So when it gets real windy, 
it'll it'll push in and you just pop it back out pretty cool I am gonna order some different string I'm gonna order some uh, string that illuminates at night and it's got plenty of room in here put of chairs in here hung some lights up in there hung a thing on the outside to keep the Sun out of here but doesn't really matter because it's it's 108 today and there's 115 in there thanks it's pretty nice monsoon season is coming here in Arizona in June so I think I'm gonna end up having to take this back down I think they have some really high winds and torrential downpours so probably have phone to says 111 guy just right down from us his phone says 112 so it's pretty warm our trailer's about 85 so so ish in the trailer he said his it's 94 in his trailer <laughs> anyway it's the hottest time here so far so they were saying it might get to 111 and it did so we're, we're staying cool I had I had went and laid down because I worked last night and I only got a couple hours of sleep and uh, we went shopping and I put some stuff on the outside refrigerator and I forgot to put the outside lid down anyway so I, when I got up it was 91 in here and Patty was having a fit because cats were sweating anyway so I forgot to close the outside door on the side of the trailer to go to the outside kitchen so all the heat was coming in through there so I closed that and it's cooled right down so I'll just have to remember to close that next time we got a storm coming in see all the dirt <laughs> trying to secure the trying to secure the pop up can't really see the mountains yet Yeah, I'm gonna go out front. I'm gonna see if I can. Yeah, if it's starting to rain, I can feel that. You can see the mountain a little bit. It was. It was a little bit darker a little while ago. It's. It looks like the worst of it is down there, but yeah, the, the rain's starting. I guess this is gonna be our first summer storm here. <laughs> Hopefully, everything's still standing. Well, we survived the dust storm yesterday lightning and all that stuff and our gazebo thing is just fine now we got a fire going on it looks like it's on the other side of the mountain over there it just so sorry for fire guys I gotta go fight that it's really hot out but, uh, 101 102 right now yeah but uh we'll keep an eye on that fire make sure it doesn't get any worse <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> 